when the president says he's for all of the above, we're flattered because they say uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But uh, what he really means is none of the above, because he said no, literally, to all the things that would help ease the supply situation in this country. He said no to the Keystone Pipeline. He said no to ANWR. He said no to offshore production, no to the Gulf, no to streamlining permitting, no uh, to more leases. When the president uses the theme, the words that the Republicans have been using for, for years now, that we should have an all of the above policy, um, either he's finally getting it, or maybe it is. This is the greatest form of flattery here. I don't think he's getting it, though, because the actions are not matching the words. The administration's saying, hey, let's do all of the above. But then when it comes time to increase the oil and gas uh, production in this country or get more from our closest friend and ally in the world, Canada, not only do they not help, they block it. So for a lot of reasons, I remain very frustrated, as I think the American people are, from a sustained policy that seeks to depress the production of our tremendously valuable resource. It's clear that this is part of the policy of this administration, and the people who are paying the price are hardworking American families who are struggling uh, with their bills uh, in so many other areas now compounded with higher energy prices, and the president has nothing nothing to offer.